Oh, just so you guys know, I'm recording this game and I'm gonna post it to YouTube. So don't don't pull your dicks out. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what totally ruins the party, you know. Like, yeah, screw over my buzz, why don't you? I know, right? Right? He's like, uh, he's like, why do I even wear these pants? <laughs> why do I even wear the easy access three. pants? I didn't do anything, but okay. Um. I was like, so, I'm sitting over here in assless chaps going like, man, I really <laughs> want to show the world my ass. I mean, if I had assless chaps, I would do. Assless chaps? I feel like I would get ass-only chaps. Like, that's the only thing that I need y'all to cover up, is the ass. <laughs> the rest of it can be out, bro. I hope we're not recording the audio, because otherwise this is... Yeah, I got the audio. Demonetized immediately. Well, I don't... I, I have on here not for children. <laughs> so, Thank God for that. Huh? Yeah, because... Uh, yeah, so even like... I suggest like, you edit out this beginning part before we start playing. <laughs> oh, no, this is what the people like, bro. This is why they come. That they want the ass only chap talk. That's that's actually what the channel's called, ass only chaps. <laughs> oh man, so yeah. good. This fucking right, hand is atrocious. Uh, we all chilling? No, I'm gonna have to go to six. This is atrocious. But you, you can stay at seven, man. I'm 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 cool with it. It's a casual game. I'm the same way. It's like we all we all got in here to play magic. Cool. We're, we're here to play magic, not cool, you know, cool. stare at five cards going, damn it, I should have stayed at seven. I feel you, but I, I do the I make people go down to six just because my look my brother, who's who I play with most, he doesn't he only runs like thirty lands and he'll mulligan like seven times. I'm like, bro, you gotta <laughs> And then he'll win. He'll crush us. I'm like, you can't just play 30 lands and mulligan seven times, bro. That's bonkers. Yeah, no, that that see that that's a little insane. Yeah, my my thing is like, go get a hand you can play with. I just, well, like at my I, local, they'll they'll do what we call a chaos mulligan, where you throw down the land. It's also known as a uh, what you call it. Um, there's a more official term for it from a pro player where you throw down the lands in your hand face up and then go grab the rest of your hand. Like, shuffle over your back and then draw the... Oh, so you have too many lands. Commander should be the opposite. Yeah. Like, where you yeah. have the perfect mixture, you know? You have things to do for the first two to three turns or so. And... I just want a piece of ramp and a piece of draw, but, I mean, I had everything in my hand cost seven or more except for a piece of removal last time. All right, yeah, this is fine. Yeah. This is fine. Welcome to Commander, where you can run, you know, 12, 6 drops, and you'll see them all at once. Yeah, that's true. All right, I'm good to go, y'all. All right, let's rock and roll. I feel like we're about to get right. crackle with powered out of this motherfucker. Draw. I'm okay with this. I'll play for some packs. All right, I'm going to draw. I'm going to play a mountain and pass. Undergrowth Stadium Pass. Uh, swamp and Pass. Wrong. He said, this is a far cry from the pre-con. Discard. You were correct. I'm going to play in the island. Pass. Yeah, that's the. Sh I like playing a bounce turn. I I'm fine. Like that's just the pattern of doing that. Uh, you know what? No, I will discard the island. Brody, you got all Theros beyond death lands over there or something? Oh no, just the two that I had. I like to pepper them in. You think you're better than me, bro? No, no, no. <laughs> They're just pretty. They're just they pretty. are. They are. They're great. Right, I'm going to tap. I'm going to uh, tap Anuma and uh, tap two and Tangled Floorhedron, one of my favorite cards ever printed. Nice. I'll pass. I have a hollow one of those. You say hollow? 
a hollow one. Yeah, we know, oh. bro. We know where you came from. Yeah, this is this is foil as well. I came from the Pokemans. Yeah. yeah and that, the Yu-Gi-Mon. That, that that hollow gave it away. That's on you, high explosive. Explosive. Da na 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 na. Uh, mountain pass. Pokey pokey. Draw. I'll play a mountain. I'll tap three. Play Adelan Jackal. He is a 2 2 trample haste. When he deals combat damage to a player, I can search my library for a basic land, put it in cool. play tapped, and then shuffle. Nice. Go to combat. And. There is six sided die. Well, I need one. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Who taught you to do that? Don't do that. Pick, pick, pick which commander you think is more threatening. Out of the two guys that don't have a blocker. Rolling a dice is a cop okay. out, bro. Well, thing is you so elegantly, you know. <laughs> that's that's, that's just my that. feelings. That's just how I believe. Fair enough. I'll swing at you for two there. Uh, Me? I'm the one yeah. with a blocker. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was really good. Is he really going to flop? That was really good. I fucking deserve that. I'm going to eat that up. <laughs> Don't roll a dice. Yeah, you're right. I'll hit you. Good point. <laughs> Solid point. Gonna draw. I'll play a command tower. And then... I'll go ahead and play a foundry inspector. Artifact spells I cast cost one less. He's three two, and I am done. I like I like how you play, I'll and I just right noticed back. your your name is that sword from Final Fantasy two. Bonus points, bro, all the way to the bank. Oh, this is this is getting boring. Why don't we do Overgrown Tomb tapped, paying two life is for sycophants and products of incest, and I'll pass. Uh, I'll play a mountain. Then I'll tap three <sighs> for a commander sphere and pass. <laughs> I'll draw. I will play forest. Oh. I'll tap four for Magus Lucy King. He said his name too casually. I'll combat. I'll he said he said his name really casually. That peaks my threat assessment. Just how casually he said and, that. And let's see. Triggered my fight or flight. High explosive. I'm gonna swing at you for three, buddy. You have triggered my fight or flight. I'll say three. You have triggered my mirror force. I mean my trap card. Mirror force. Actually, magic cylinder is a swipe back. Imagine it would be way better. Yeah, I mean, another first pass. All right, guys, things are about to. I don't know if you ever played against Magus, but my brother plays them, and uh, things are probably about to get a little wild. Oh yeah, I played against Magus plenty times on spell table. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I... Oh, come on. She's not that bad. I'm just saying, things can get a little know. wild depending on what you're holding. <coughs> nah, you guys be all right. It's going to be fun. Did you hear the tone? Did you hear the tone? Did you hear the alarming tone? I'm about to edit this part out of the video. <laughs> this is not. This is... <laughs> Voted the best part? How dare you? <laughs> part where people walk away mid game. I had to put on my shit because you put on YouTube not for children. And my son was at his mom's house. He's like, Dad, I couldn't find your video. I'm like, That's not for you, son. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear the things that were said. Maybe when you get older. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not for you, bud. That's, uh, nope. Huh. 
It's just like my oldest nephew or step nephew, whatever you want to call him. Um, he uh, tells me, he's like, yeah, I really want to get into playing Pokemon. I was like, nah, dude, don't be gay. <laughs> Bro, what are you from the 90s? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be. You gotta be. No, I was super into Pokemon when I was his age, but that's, well, no, I'm mean, yeah, I feel you. I totally feel you. But I'm saying in the I mean, '90s, that's when you called shit. You, you don't call shit gay in 2023, bro. You're, sure. This sure. is sure. that's sure. the part out of everything ended. we've said. That's what would be edited out. We're like this guy pulled out his. We're like this guy pulled out his balls, but the other guy said something was gay. That was when I got triggered personally. Oh snap! <laughs> Is this guy AFK? Did I, did I miss something? He said he's gonna be back, but yeah, he'll. Do you have well, something earth-shattering, Ace? Or I'm just gonna play my. Oh shit! I need to go get my commander, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Should probably have that for a game of commander, there, boss. I was say if he's not back here soon, we can just roll on. He can just do his turn. Just like an arena, you, you make us sit here and wait too long, it's going to skip your turn. So there it's are. Fair, uh, it's, it's fair game because that's also, an, if I'm not mistaken, that's also an official tournament. Yeah. I think that there's a uh, Game Zone came out with like a, uh, not Game Zone, Command Zone, like a timed Commander game. It's pretty neat. You have like 30 minutes total time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw that. About that. I'm waiting for it to come on to Android. Of course, they, on of course they put it on Crapple products first. I'm sure there's an app that gives you, like, four time counters. Okay, let's look at my all my commanders while he's gone here. <laughs> Silver you Martyr. just keep your commanders separate? Yeah. <laughs> that's wild. That's that's probably the wildest yeah, thing. I have a Layla, this, except this... I built it, like, super shitty. This just came in today. Um, My Layla deck is the Necrons deck and the Shorakai deck. Oh, that's really baby. cool. I like that. I like that. It's literally, I just took the two precons and mushed them together. <laughs> Good old mush. Would you just shuffle them into each other and then cut something? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's the way it runs sometimes, though. <laughs> and I got it separated by power level. But this right here, this isn't... My silver border deck. This is my pride and joy. I don't know if you've seen Spice 8, Eight Racks video on silver bordered cards, but it's fucking pretty cool actually. Uh, Kenrith Group Hug. That one's fun. This guy is a Portal 3 Kingdoms Commander. 3 2 with horsemanship. Plus 4. You can sack him to bring a card back from your graveyard. This is a foil judge promo. This came in today. This costs about one sixty, but the original, the only other printing of him cost six hundred and sixty six for near mint, two fifty for damaged. You get one off uh, MPG for about. Let's, five let's bucks. just uh, let's just move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I just uh, I, I just replaced just the on one on I printed now. out of my printer for like ten cents. Yeah, let's just move on. I I say you snooze, you lose, man. That's what I say. Yeah, it's took it too, a little bit too long. I mean, I, I take people... We'll leave him in the lobby. So when he comes back and is confused on what's happened, that he's, right. like, dead. All right, so I'll draw. <laughs> He'll be like, confused. Wow, He'll be confused when he's dead. All right, I'll tap five, <laughs> and I'll play Ikra Shidiki, the Usurper. Interestingly enough, there's only 17 decks in all of EDH Rec database that have Kodama and Ikra. So this is a very rare sighting you'll see. Alright, that's you high explosive. Alright. Sorry. It's waiting on the on the button press. Draw off turn. Oh, you're good. Uh I'll play a swamp. Then I'll tap three four for prosper. Play fast magic, go to my instep, exile, top card. It is a conspiracy theorist. 
And you can play that when? Uh, uh my turn. next turn. Until your next turn? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Alright, then I shall untap, <clears throat> upkeep, and draw. I suppose I'll, do, I'll play the nice guy and not attack the guy who can't defend himself, huh? Well, you could. Well, you kind of have to. It's just he won't take any damage until he gets back. I mean, he's the only one you can hit. I got a 3-7. He's got a 1-4. Oh. No, I guess we don't know if he'll block. That's not true. <laughs> he's just, not that's not necessarily play. true. You're... Okay, I hear you. Not necessarily. Um, just gotta decide what route I want to take here. I'm guessing you're gonna tap eight mana and double something. I could. I could. Mm -hmm. I got a couple of really good options here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's a stern four. Seven. Yeah, let's let's go that route. I'm gonna tap two for base cost. X equals two. Seven. I'm gonna play Terviggan. I get a copy. What's that? Oh, um, so Terra Vigan is ravenous. Um, enter, um, sorry. Let me mark the counters first so y'all know what the hell is going on. So I'll read them to you. Ravenous enters the battlefield with X11 counters on it. If X is 5 or higher, draw a card. I'll get that twice because it's an ETB trigger. Mm -hmm. And then um, in this case, he's a 7 7 trample. And whenever he does combat damage to a player, I create that many 1-1 one, one green tyranny creature tokens. No, that's not good. I'll do either 7-7s. Seven I'll draw twice for Ravenous. Nice. Make sure I'm not over hand size limits. We're good. Go to combat. I'll throw another counter on... Oops. On Adeline Jackal. Okay, so you have a 1-4. Yeah, you have a, a what now? 3-7. Three, 3-7, seven. Three, seven. what the hell? 3-7, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Okay, I see how that's going to go. Well, I, to, I should have probably gone the other route first, but that's okay. Well, you're right, I guess he is really the only target I could attack. Continue ramping. I mean, he technically could, I and mean, he's not going to declare blockers because he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to play. Rude yeah, and get, like, let's not use him out. as a flesh bag. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hey, look, a punching bag that can't defend itself. Poor bookworm. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can't get through a 3-7, so I'm going to attempt to swing at high explosive with a 4-4 four, four trample. Right, I will not block with Frosty. I'll take a little bigger. Nice. I like how you've picked it up. Now we'll go grab a... You have drawn my pen. <laughs> and I'll pass on over. All right, let's draw a land so that we can stay in the game here. Ah, uh, no. Oh. Sorry for that, guys. I'll just go ahead and get out. You can play. Bro, t what, just take two turns right now if you're if you're ready. You, you, we skipped you, but... Yeah, we only skipped uh, you. Uh, we only you skipped would've... you once. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, just, just take oh, two... I see all the lands that you had. So take two take turns. Take your turn. Wait, wait. Oh, just, just... Yeah, take two turns. Um, Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, man. It's yeah, still early. You all caught up? Oh, okay. 
All right. I just feel like things might have been different. Well, he would have hit you, but we decided not to hit. Like he, I was like, you know, we talked about it, and you, you we, we decided have taken not a to do rude magic where we use you as a punching bag, like yeah, a, you know, a little bookworm in, in <laughs> <laughs> So I'll just play um, Jora for right. the one turn. Would that have changed anything? Turn no. Nope. His, nope. no. Okay. Nope. So he he's got uh, danger has two seven seven tramples. So that's the only thing you need to know. That changes the pace of the game. <laughs> seven seven. It's tramples. Red Ranger, by the way. Ranger, the Ranger, Ranger danger. Hence, hence, hence the play map. Yeah. You know, ah, okay. Sure. Nice. Seven seven tramples. Two, yeah. Yes, Terrigan. He's a Warhammer card, so it probably won't click. Um. I paid him for X equals seven, so I got two of them. And whenever he deals combat damage to a player, I create a one-one tyrannid for each damage it dealt. Okay, okay. I'm going to play a Howling Golem and draw a card. Howling Golem is a two-three artifact creature that, when it attacks or blocks, each player draws a card. Ooh. Yes. And then I will pay a blue. Actually, yeah, no. I will save that. Each player draws a card, huh? Uh, and then I'll play a funeral longboat draw card. And a traveler's amulet for free draw a card. A sense of thing. That's nice. Okay. Draw my deck and be super scurry. Yeah. Uh, Traveler's Amulet, I can sack to search my land for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into my hand. Uh, and then this is a, yeah, classic common. Whole bunch of commons. Oh, yeah. Pass the turn. All right. I already drew for turn. I'm going to tap Land of War Waste and play a Soul Ring. Then I'll tap the Soul Ring for two. And I'll tap. I need two green, overgrown tomb, underground stadium. That's four mana. I need one more Takanuma Abandoned Mire. And I'll play the Great Henge. Two. Scary. Yeah. Tap, tap for two, gain two. Never non took creature <clears throat> enters. I can put a plus one, plus one counter on it and draw the card. And I'll tap it for two now and gain two. And I'll pass. Cooley I missed my land drop. <laughs> yeah, we got a pretty good. That's an artifact. That's a nice artifact. I agree. I just wanted to point out. I have it proxied in the stack because, you know, it's $60. <laughs> yeah. The expense. Uh, Red Ranger, you want to make a deal? Who? Uh, Red Ranger. Sure. What's up? Uh, if I do not blow up one of your seven sevens, will you not attack me next turn? Oh damn! I that's can a... I can deal with that. Sure. Okay. That's a pretty that's a pretty forward deal. I mean, I'd be I'd be happier if I could keep both, but I can live with one. It's fine. Uh, I will. Where's it at? I had it in my hand. Tap. Okay. First, what I'll do is do some quick math. Two. So, yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, I will tap two. Cast Conspiracy Theorist. Okay. Exile. That makes a treasure token. Mm -hmm. I'll tap three. Crash treasure token. For a Theros of Chaos. Uh -huh. So I'll Cascade for three. Uh, hit a Sensei's Divine Top. Oh my god. Here we go. 
Uh, make a treasure token. I will crack said treasure token. Look at the top three. And put them back in the same order in which they were in. <laughs> Sad days. Or happy days. Depends on what it was, I guess. Uh, it was lands. In step. Look, it's a land. I'll pass. Sure. And yeah. We'll keep and draw. Hmm. I will play a game trail untapped by revealing a cinder glade. As it is a mountain and a forest. I gotta make sure I tap this fucking right, otherwise I'm gonna screw my shit up. Alright, I am going to tap. That's... Oh yeah, we'll do it that way. And tap six for my good old friend Bigger. Hmm. Woof. I've heard of it. What's up? I've heard of it. Okay. <laughs> so I need to read it. No, no, I'm good. No, so I'm I'm scared without you reading it. Okay, if damage would be dealt to your creatures, plus one, plus one counters. Do it that way. No. Right, I'm going to proceed to combat a 1 1 counter on Avalanche Jackal. Remember our deal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'm a man of my word. Um, all right. There we go. I'm going to swing the copy 7-7 seven, seven, and Adelan Jackal over at Murasame and the other 7-7 seven, seven over at Ace. Okay. No blocks. Um... I am going to declare a blocker, the Howling Golem, uh, when he does block. Uh, after being declared, we get to draw a card in response to drawing the card or the draw card getting on the stack. Okay, wait. Before you continue, which one are you blocking? The 7-7 seven, seven or the 5-5? Or the five, five, this 7-7. Seven, seven. This 7-7. Okay. Seven, seven. Uh, is that a is the seven seven a trample? They're both trample. They are both tramplers. Yes. They are both trample. Okay, so, so these two are swinging at you. This one's over at Ace. Okay. All right. In response to us drawing the card, okay, or that uh -huh. going on the stack, I am going to play Machine Over Matter, and I will bounce the seven seven uh, to your hand, and then. And then we'll draw. For now, you're holding. In response to the draw, I'm going to ponjify the other dude. Oh, nice. What does that do? Destroys, Destroys them. You create a three-three, and I'll draw. Okay. It's a three-three. Um, are you destroying the other seven-seven, or the? No, the other guy coming at him. Oh, okay. So then we I don't know what kind of three-three it is, but there's a three-three. <laughs> Frog lizard. Okay, well, uh, green ape. Green, green ape. Oh, okay. Actor. Yeah, yeah. And uh, a right. green elephant is the exact same thing if it is a three three. Damn, we get to draw right. Two. Yeah. I'll cast Herbrest the Hidden. That's not very hidden. 
so creatures I control have haste. Creatures my opponents control come into play tapped. And we'll pass. Oh, guys, that's a sad day. Okay, so creatures oh, I, I took, control. I took seven, tapped. and you make seven tokens. You are correct, I do. Thank you. Great hinge for two. I'll gain two. Soul ring for two. Three, right. four. It's my turn. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. I'm <laughs> I'll relose my two. I mean, technically, you can tap it at any time you want. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. I feel like tapping this. I'm just getting too low. I'm going to play an enthusiastic <laughs> mech knot. Comes into play tap, sir. It does. Artifact spells I control or I cast cost one less to cast. Okay. That is an artifact. I get to draw. I'm going to play a spare supplies for free. When it comes into play, I get to draw a card. It's an artifact. I draw a card. I'm going to play a sure strike trident for free. It's an artifact. I draw a card. Holy I'm shit. play a prying blade for free. Why? None of us are running much of these. Shoulders. I draw a card. Some uh, other cards would be nasty. Right. <laughs> right? Luckily, there's no white at this table, so. <laughs> Racist. Well. <laughs> Uh, what made what made all the tokens? Uh, Terra Vagans. So Whenever it deals oh, combat yeah. damage to a player, I get one one token for each point of damage. Got lost in the sauce there. Sorry about that. Yeah. I almost forgot oh, about it. <laughs> Where are the tokens? Are they out? Oh. <laughs> I am going to put a prying blade on Jora. It gives her a plus one plus zero, oh, so now she's a four three. Uh, and whenever, Is that the one that gives you treasures when she deals damage? Yep. Okay. To a player. Combat damage specifically, so it can't be ping stuff. It's more of a... Ooh! <laughs> um, I will pass the turn. All right, I've already drawn my card for the turn. Top Great Hinge and Soul Ring. I'll gain two. And then two colorless. One, two, and I'll play Kodama. Kodama East. Nice. And I will swing at High Explosive with Ikra Shidiki. Although me and you are partners now because we're running at a different speed. She's a 3-7 Menace. Three, so I guess I'll take it. And then I'll gain seven from her triggered ability. And that is all. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's all. Remember, Kadama comes into play tapped, buddy. Oh. Oh. Is that the herb rask? Yep. Yeah. I'll pass. Untap. <laughs> Untap things and draw for turn. All right, let me make sure I play this right. So I will play this land from exile. Oh, I didn't. Fuck. Sorry. Get trash token. Okay, so I have. Uh, I will discard this mountain to retrace Theros of Chaos. Discarding the land and tapping four. So treasure token to... Excuse me. Oh, you're, you're good. Two, three, four. So I will cascade for three. Uh, land... So I'll commune with lava. Ugh. 
I just I won't cast it. Oh shoot. I will cast it. I have, kinda have to. Wait, hold on. Uh, You're cascading for three, but doesn't It's two and the X is zero. Gotcha. So what yeah, does it do? It is it's gonna do nothing. It's gonna fizzle. But for what I need it for I gotta cast it. Uh, so casting it will make a treasure token. Then I will one, two, three. Woo! Tap three, four treasure token. Doing stuff, doing stuff. For Ignite the Future, uh, a spell is cast from my graveyard, so when I exile these three, I can pay It was cast from exile. No, it was cast from graveyard. Oh, okay. Sorry, I misunderstood the thing. So, okay. Exile the Tucker Tony Riley. Final Blast. Um, Until the end of my next turn, okay. End of my this spell turn. was cast from a graveyard. I may mean, play this card. Play cards this way without paying their mana costs. Okay. Yeah, I had to do it in a certain order. Okay. And what'd you uh, hit? I hit a Hellish Rebuke, a Vandal Blast, and a Mind Stone. Okay. I'll cast the Mind Stone, make an artifact. Uh, I'll tap the Mind Stone for Sensei's Divining Top. Uh, I will order one more. This way. Mm. Hold on this way. Yeah. So we'll put them like that. Uh, I'll leave that treasure token. Yeah. And I will press turn. Oh, uh, and he's gone. All right. That's unfortunate. Well, yeah. see if he comes back before the end of my turn. Ah, yeah, there he is. And he's back before the end of your turn. Untap up, keep draw. Right, I've so played my center blade for turn. Right here. Okay. I'm going to tap one, two, three. Uh, for Patriarch's seal. Float. Prayer Shoot. still. Yeah. <laughs> that. It's very important because you have a Praetor on the field. So. Fair, fair. All right, so two green. Wait, is that the one that Makes untaps your guy? Yeah. Yeah. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> <laughs> is what X is equal to Primordial Hydra. I get two copies. Jesus Christ. This is what I was talking about with Magus, and you were like, he's not that. Magus yeah, not that. And you were like, it's on the list. They don't have Apple yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. And they do all have haste because of Mr. Herbrask being, you know, his beautiful self. Uh, let's see. I will go to start combat. I will throw a 1-1 one, one counter on Herbrask. I will swing one Primordial Hydra at each of you guys. And Tervigan will go at... Ace. How big is 
So each Hydra is an 8 8. Are they trampled? No, not yet. Okay. I'll cast, uh, cast Hellish Rebuke. Who's casting what now? Uh, I cast Hellish Rebuke, so I'm going to let the 8 come through. No, I'm not swinging at you, high explosive. Oh, I thought you said you. Oh, no, I am. I am. You're right. Yeah. So what does that do? Uh, whenever that permanent. That deals damage to me. Uh, sacrifice this permanent, you lose two life. He gets that. Oh, so he gets through, but he, then he gets yeah, sacked. Yeah, I'll still take eight, would... but he gets okay. sacked and you lose two. Okay, that's fine. And I'll make a church token. Ace, what you got there, boss? Uh, you got an 8-8 eight, eight and a 7-7 seven, seven coming at you. I'll block the 8-8 eight, eight with a, my Tango Floor Hedron. Okay, so and, he'll uh, get one counter. And I will take the seven. I'll just say it was the main one that was attacking him. Okay, and you'll take the seven, which means I get seven more of these. Bam. There we go. And... Uh, what about you, Marasame? You gonna block your eight eight or what's up? I took it. Oh, you took it. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. I missed uh, a uh, prosper exile. Yeah. Right. Uh, shall I pass? I'm going to play an island. And yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to play a Locust God. Whenever I draw a card, I get to create a 1-1. One, one. And when he dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next upkeep. Uh, the 1-1 one, one blue red insect creature token that I get whenever I draw uh, has flying and haste. As I cast, I get to draw so he's not in play. Um, See, he is flying to those two, and I'll. And I can do that whenever. Okay, um, I'll pass the turn. All right. You didn't want to attack with your draw card. <laughs> no, I want to block next turn. Play command. <laughs> I need to block the massive army right next to me. Tap. Solar range yeah, two. I try to be fair and attack everybody a little bit equally, you know? Colorless. One, two, three. Oh. Soul ring for two plus the three. That's five. And I'll tap the mm -hmm. great hand and gain two. Mm -hmm. I will play old gnawbone. Nice. He comes in with a plus one, plus one counter because of great hands. Kodama trigger for him. I will drop in. He comes in the play tapped, by the way. Vigor. Ooh. That's scary. You also get to draw a card from the great hands. Oh, thank you. I missed that on my last turn. That's yeah, big. that's why it's so. That's why it's, so that's why good, it's such a right? big deal. Right. And that leaves me with enough mana for interaction. And I will... I mean, high explosive, I don't want to hit you, bro. You're the only... I'll pass. <laughs> I won't, I, I'll, I, I, I could gain life, and I'm like, it, the board's looking crazy, but I, I need just, your help. Just don't. 
Yeah, I won't. No, I won't. Exactly. I won't. We're here for each other. This is how it happens every time this deck pops off. Everyone's <laughs> like, oh my god, uh, no. On your Insta, I'll uh, activate Oh, you mean every time you have like three eight eights on turn seven? Bro, this is literally almost the exact same board I had the last game I played. Yeah, it's a nasty Except deck. for this, this, and this. There's only been about 2,500 decks built of him. I'm surprised it's not more popular. It's a cool cool commander. Okay. Um, I just is cool. Mm-hmm. Wait, tap at all those lads over there. Yes, top. I'm on your end stuff. I, I did a sensei's. Uh, okay. All right. My end stuff is cool like that. Yeah. Ugh. Your instep was pretty cool. Yeah, your uh, instep pretty cool, bro. So I'll draw for turn. It happens to be the card that I put on top. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to have to cast this. Uh, I'm going to Vandal Blast Praetor Seal. Oh, I love I'm that. assuming that destroys it? Yeah. Okay, oh, that's fine. I'm out of X spells anyway. <laughs> Remember that, Ace. I didn't. I didn't hit your great tree. Your great hand. Uh, yeah, but why would you? Okay, that the, the that's okay. That's not necessarily a favor, but I feel you. <laughs> that's just sound threat uh, assessment. Yeah, that's what we're shooting for. Uh, I'll tap. Although I've totally played with a lot of people that would have just blown up my great henge there and I would have been like, for real? Not really? It's a great really? card, but Jesus. Uh, I mean, it's only giving you life, card draw, and bigger creatures every turn. No, it's an amazing <laughs> card. I'm just saying, read the board. <laughs> All right. This is really complicated and convoluted, but I'll tap eight for a fevered suspicion. What does that do? Uh, each opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card. <coughs> I can cast any number of spells from among those non-land cards without paying their mana cards. Holy shit. Okay, so yes, that's a baller. That's a baller card. Atali Primal Storm without the land. Yeah, yeah, that's Atali. an Atali. Look. It's an expensive Atali. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what I hit? You got a hard uh, Atali is pretty expensive. You hit a Toski for me. You got a si- Siren Storm, uh, Storm Tamer. What does a Storm blue. Tamer do? That's not a real card, bro. Don't uh, make up cards. <laughs> it's a 1-1 one, one flyer. <laughs> Pay a blue, sacrifice it, counter target spell or ability that targets you or a creature. You oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah like so that. I'll cast that one. Okay. Shredder token. I'll cast Hardened Scales. It's not going to do anything for me, but... So that's three. I'll go up to three, and then I'll cast Toski. Of course. And they all come in, all the creatures come into play tapped. Oh, uh, by the way, this is going to rebound as rebound. He said, so you get the next to upkeep, rebound I get to again? cast it for free. Why would anyone ever play a Tali with that card? What's it called? I want to type that in. Fever Suspicion, because it costs eight. Yeah, but a Tali costs six, then you got to wait on an entire turn. I guess because you can keep doing a tally. Oh, uh, but no. Uh, well, it's also Fever Suspicions Orzov. I mean, not uh, Rakdos. It's different than just being mono red. Yeah. It's a cool fucking card. Jeez, I mean, a tally's in here. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, why, oh, of course, why, why of why course. Both? Why not both? Yeah, why not? Uh, both? So I have a Toski. Por qué no Toski. los dos? That's how you say it in Spanish. That's right. A uh, Toski yeah, comes in tapped, uh-huh. and then my uh, Siren <laughs> Storm Tamer comes in tapped. Bro. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Um Urbrass should get you killed. Like any card that you have to constantly remind people that you're fucking their shit up, like that it feel like it should draw more aggro. It than could it be does. worse. I could have Ristic study and Urbrass. It's the same me. yeah, you're right, but it's the same <laughs> idea of like, hey, by the way, hey, by the way, hey, by the way. Yeah, hey, hey, hey you. Well, it's just a reminder because I don't want to be attacking. No, no, I'm like, saying oh, you're doing it right. I'm just that. saying those type of cards should draw a little more aggro than normal cards. Right. Other than being in the sky, can you really aggro me right now? <laughs> great point. Great fucking point. 
Yeah. I'm going to use my four treasure tokens to cast Gonti. Oh. Uh, Red Ranger. Uh huh. What's up? Uh, uh, Enter the battlefield. Look at the top four cards of target opponent's library. Exile one of them face down. Then put the rest of them on the bottom of the library of that library in a random order. For as long as that yeah. card is exiled, you may look at it. You may cast it and spend mana as over mana of any type to cast it. Okay. So. so four cards. Yep. And I don't. I'll walk my ass off when you get. I don't care if other people see it. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Um, I was going to say, I'm going to lock my ass up. Be hitting next spell. Is there any things you see in there? There are <laughs> three lands and in, 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 uh, invigorating hot spring. <laughs> oh, wait. Doesn't invigorating hot spring put counters on stuff? Uh, it comes into play with four counters. Modified creatures you control have haste. And once per turn, you can move a counter off of it onto one of your creatures. Hey, that hardened scales is going to come in handy. <laughs> yeah, I just don't have anything that puts counters on. Actually, I do. You can still so, right, we'll, we'll, we'll actually exile one of the, yeah, the lands. We'll do one of the lands. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. Because I haven't Which played a land for turn. Okay. Uh, command tower. Command tower? Uh, yeah, that's a good one, dude. Yeah, I'll take a command tower. Probably the command tower that the you forest want, has a flex, bro. You got the wiggle room. Look at <laughs> that's a flex. <laughs> you got... So that's going to bump me up to t two treasure counters. Uh, hey, I have three mana. I could do some stuff with that. Uh, I'll make a deal with uh, the other two. That's not Red Ranger. <laughs> it's our turn uh, for deals. Nothing personal. Yeah. Uh, if I get rid of Urbrask, can I say for a turn? Bro. Uh, you really think Urbrask is the point? I, I would I would say that Vigor is probably If right. I get rid of his Vigor? If you get rid of his Vigor, yeah. It's just going to get shuffled back into my deck. Damn, high explosion. Sure, you, you but, you know, part. then you have to play it again. <laughs> Yeah, but I have like four different tutors to get him back out. Well, that's this you know, is true. I still think. Yeah, it's, but I mean, at least yeah. he would have to play them. Right, and then he's gonna. He's, he's just gonna tutor to for something that. else if we don't. That's the thing. Yeah, so I would suggest uh, the bigger so that we can actually deal damage to his stuff. So I'm safe for a turn. For I don't know. I might need to hit you, bro. So oh, wait. I, yeah, I mean, I might need to hit you, but I don't. As okay. long as as long as they don't have flying, by the time it gets back around to me, otherwise I'll have to swing one at you. But other than that, you're good with me. He's not gonna kill you. I'm not gonna kill you. Like I'm not gonna. Uh, Jeez. All right. That's the best I can give you. All right. I like <laughs> how you're politicking, you. but I'll use all three. I'll use this here land. I, I found, and I'll be devil bigger. That's fine. Uh, it destroys. Yep. And with that, I will pass. All right, give me a minute to shuffle here. At the uh, at his instep, I'm gonna crack the traveler's amulet. <laughs> and go get a do some thing. traveling. I'm gonna go to the fridge and get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> here, I'll put this up here. Uh, Prosper exiled a rain of riches. I'll play a mountain for turn. Go ahead and tap three. I'll beast within your vigor, Ace. I think he went to go get a beer. Oh, well, then I'll wait. An eye for an eye. Yep, fair enough. A vigor for a vigor. Yep, pretty much.
You there, Ace? I'm here. All right. I'm going to tap three. I'm going to beast within your vigor. Beast within my vigor? Cool, cool, cool. Yep. Yep. I got a beast right here. All right, then I'll tap four Dragon Prime. And three more. He was salty about losing card. his vigor because that's what it was. Because I'm trying to figure yeah, out that's what it was. Yep, he said, if I can't have a vigor, nobody can have crayons. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, race card trigger. I'll put a counter on Dragon Prime and himself. This is a hard scales. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. I'm going to go to combat. I'll throw a 1 1 counter on. Um, I'll throw one pair again. Make him an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, I could have done that totally different, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> yes. All right. Uh, continue combat. I'm going to swing with Tervigan and Primordial Hydra over at Ace, Tervigan, Trigger. We'll give them each a 1-1 counter and make Primordial Hydra unblockable. He's a 10-10. That's unfortunate. And he's a 6-6. Six, six. And then I will swing the other Primordial... Oh, I forgot to trigger Primordial Hydra's upkeep. <laughs> Fuck. Hold up. I never get to play this card. He always dies before I get a chance to play <laughs> him. Any of my upkeep double and oh fuck. Hold on. Hold the phone. It's cool. I would usually say it's a little late for an upkeep trigger, but I'm if they're cool with it then let's play it. I mean if Sorry. it doesn't say May, it has Ah, oh, it doesn't. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I no. apologize. Like I said, he literally always dies before I get a chance to even swing with yeah. him. One was an eight and one was a seven. One was an eight and one was a nine. So we got a 16, 16. It turned 16. into a 10. It turned okay. into oh. a 10. All right. I'll continue with that attack towards the ace with these two. Just so I'm not right. changing a bunch of shit. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> So 18, 18, trample, and a 6, 6. <coughs> and then I'll swing an 8, 8 over at high explosive alongside. The. No, because of your heel. Seven, one, ones. And then for. Murasami. Got a 16 16 coming at you. And an elephant. <laughs> uh, I'll do blockers first. I'll block one of the one ones. And I'll block the big one with Prosper. Okay. So for you, I have the 16 16 and Tervigan, right? No, you did the uh, Teravigan and the tokens. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So Teravigan got blocked by a 1 4 with Death Touch. Okay, that's fine. 4 damage still gets through. That's what her concern is, is that you wouldn't be able to do it. So I get those, and then that dies. I think the reason why she said that was because I said, well, All right. this you want to go next? Is and it's true. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to block the 16-16. Or wait, sorry. It's explosive. Go ahead. I already, already did my blocking. Oh, you already did? Okay. 
Uh, so those, these the two are right here. Uh, I blocked the 1616 16 with the Howling Golem. And I will tap this to crew the funeral longboat, which will block the other 3-3. Three, three. And the, this the other 3-3? Three, three. Yeah. Okay. All of my guys die. We all draw a card. And I get a 1-1 one, one flying insect. All right. Now coming at me is a 6-6 six, six and 18-18. Uh, the top left. Yes, yes, yes. And, two. and what are the keywords? Uh, so the primordial hydra becomes unblockable. Right. Because of the Trigon Prime. So whenever Trigon Prime attacks, put a one-one counter on it and a one-one counter on up to one other target attacking creature. That creature can't be blocked this turn. Okay. And then what? So I can't block him, so I'm going to take 18 right now. Yeah. And then the other guy is uh, just 6-6 six, six straight up? Yeah. Yep. All right, I'll block with a 3-7 and a 3-3 three, three beast token. Okay. So you'll choose to kill the beast token, I'm assuming. You're not making Misty at all. Keep your mouth shut about that. You okay. All right, and that's it, right? Yeah, I think so. I will pass turn after that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Draw a card. I'll get another one of these guys. So another two. One is tapped. Tapped. Those guys are 1 1. Red, blue. Creature, to uh, creature tokens with flying and haste. Bro, we need more um, than that. Yeah, I know. I got gotcha. you. I'm going to play an Armory of Erois for free. I will draw a card. Get another one of these guys. Um, I will play... Dad, will you shut the door, please? Shut the door, please. All right. I will pay two. I will sacrifice the spare supplies. I will draw a card. Get another one of these guys. Let huh? All right. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to play. Let me see. How? What are the power and toughnesses? Oh. You've got a 16, 16, and a 19, 19. Oh, man, so I have an 18, 18, a 16, 16, 3, 3, a 5, 5. And eleven one ones, and then my commander. All right, I am going to I'm going to deal uh, first three damage to the guy that gives all your creatures haste. Okay. Her rask. Right. First it's three, and then I will bolt it mm, for okay. another one. Okay. Has one remaining. That should be four. So three and three. Right, it's a five five. Right. Three oh. and three. Yeah, you said oh. you you said one on the bolt, but it's three on the bolt. Right, right, oh. right, right. 
Yeah, sorry. And then I will bolt it for one as far as the, sorry, for the uh, mana. Mana, yeah. I apologize. Uh, let me see. After that, I will equip the Armory of Eroes to the 1 1 flying <laughs> no, haste. No, bro, we need so much. <laughs> That was the saddest sentence ever for where the board is right now. That is so sad. Like, I know I, I play that card, and I just felt your the minor heartbreak that occurred. What, the uh, the Armory of Eros? Yeah, like, I was hoping you were going to save us, and, like, he's like, I equipped the Armory of Eros to the 1-1. One, one. Well, <laughs> well, it gets bigger. No, I'm not uh, trying to hate, bro. I'm just, I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad and happy, you know? <laughs> He's happy I, for I, you, but sad I'm for all. Yeah. To be honest, I, <laughs> I have something else that I that I should that that I should yeah definitely save for right now. I wish I had other. Uh, uh, if I could play this card, but I had to pay mana to get it. Yeah. So, um. Sorry, you killed Herbrass. That was nice. That was nice for the board. Yeah. Would it make uh, you guys very upset if I could just get him back? I mean, recursion, no, recursion is fair. You at least got to blow something. Like, I don't care. You know what I mean? No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about you guys. That's what she's but no, saying. I feel okay. like that. Like, it's like that thing where you're I'm like... Not the, I'm not in the colors for much recursion. That is what she said. <laughs> oh. No, yeah, you're not. I'll pass the turn. Yeah, you have none of the... You have all the colors but the recursion colors. Pretty much. All right, guys. This draw needs to be nice. Let's let's give it a little juju here. Forest. Ooh, baby. Should I drop <laughs> that or my <laughs> other say, land? I need to go to your land. Ooh, guys. Yeah, Galaxy land, foil, land. though, guys. <laughs> it's not a regular forest. You see the stars shining. Ooh. Oh. Very beautiful. Very beautiful, very, very gorgeous, my man. Okay. I'll, uh, I mean, there's all types of crazy shit happening right now. Uh, do you have b flying blockers forever, Ranger? I do not. Nope. Oh, cool. I can. And you're tapped out, so I'll hit you for. Not really, if you guys remember what Rishkar does. No, I don't. Let me know, like, what's your uh, mana situation? So, Rich Car, each creature I control with a 1 1 counter taps for 1 green. Right. So, you could, like, yeah, you could do your thing. But, uh, you'd have to do your thing anyway. So, I'll hit you with this 8 8 old gnaw bone. And yep. then, um, I'll swing a high explosive for 3 7. Just to get I'll some treasures here and some. Are you taking it, Ranger? I don't have a choice. Well, I, I know you had. I was mana. talking with you. <laughs> so I got you. So is that you? So you took eight, and he took three. Yeah. So that will gain me the toughness creatures. of these creatures, which is seven plus eight, so that'll gain me fifteen. While that is on the stack. Oh Christ! I'm gonna harrow. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, that <laughs> my heart just unsank. Um. I'm sorry, I don't have much of a no, poker that's face. Fine. So that'll that will create me eleven treasures though. With the eleven damage going through. I'll go grab a forest and an island that come into play untapped. So I Is it will... my turn is? Oh, no. Sorry. no, no, no. I will tap <laughs> no, no. Great Henge for two. Overgrown Tomb for a black, so that's three. Four, five, six, seven with the soul ring. And I'll play Bethedris Witherbloom. Beginning with each upkeep, I make a 1 1 pest. He's a 4 4 flyer, and I can pay 10 life to untap my lands and, and do that once per turn. He comes in with a 1 1 counter due to Great Henge, and I draw a card. The Kodama trigger for that will be Harvester of Souls. It's a 5-5 five, five death touch. Whenever another non-token creature dies, I may draw a card. With the treasures. 
on the great hinge down. So then I'll pay th these remaining three mana that I have and I'll sack two treasures going to nine. And I'll play Oran Frostfang. He's a 2-6. Attacking creatures I control have death touch. Whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. That'll trigger Kodama, and I will put in Elder Garagoth. 6-6, six, six, Vigilance Reach oh. Trample. When he attacks or blocks, draw a card, basically. Uh, Are we still uh, putting things into play tapped? No, our no. is dead. I'll draw a card off the Oren Frostfang, and he'll get plus one, plus one. Oh, yeah. But he's already in post combat. I don't know. Yeah, he'll, yeah, exactly. I mean, post combat. Yeah. Now I'm gonna pay ten life and untap all my lands, which will only be these six. Actually, does that even make sense? I guess it does. So ten life. That'll put me to 24. And I'll tap five. One, two, three, four, five. I need two green. I'm gonna make sure I have that. I do, I've got Overgrown Tomb and Forest. And I'll play Shamanic Revelation. Draw a card for each creature you control. You gain four life for each creature, power four or greater. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll draw seven. And no, you won't. You'll draw six because your guy has. Oh, does he have a one-one counter? Your not... sub commander thought he was a three-seven. My, I this commander. I draw a card for each creature, so I'll draw seven for the creatures. Oh, the derp. And then I gain I four the life. Uh, no, you're right. This does not have a counter on it, so. And this is only a three, so I'll gain four times four. I'll gain sixteen life and draw seven. Okay. I was like, well, wait, I, I got the two things mixed up. Gotcha. That's my bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big turn, guys. Big turn. Pay ten and tap your lands. No, I only can do it once each turn. I will tap my undergrowth stadium and I'll sack a treasure and I'm going to animate dead my vigor from the graveyard. So he comes in with a your minus one. Back. Oh my god, vigor's not even in the graveyard. Oh, nope, it's not a may trigger. That's a great point. So I won't do that. Clearly, and I'll shuffle him. He's right here. I'll shuffle him back into my deck in a second. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, it's not a may trigger, is it? No, it's mm -hmm. not at all. I'll just tap this for one green and I'll sack two treasures and I'll play this mana dork Gilrana she taps for a green and when I cast a spell with converted mana cost six or greater I draw a card and then Ooh. I'll sack one more treasure going to six and I'll cast a haywire might I can pay one green and exile non-creature artifact or non-creature enchantment those are both creatures so they'll draw me two cards with great henge i'll put a counter on each one of them and i'll pass turn That's it for me, guys. I'm going to discard Sorry. on to... Sorry, my, my mic was muted. Uh, Fever Suspicion is going to rebound on my upkeep. Okay. So each opponent exiles till they hit a non-land card. First one, Veto. Alright, I'll cast Veto. Shared Summon. Oh, that's good. We got a Lock Dragon. That sounds good. 
it whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, you can discard a card. If you do, you get to draw a card. I'm gonna discard different one. Lock is it Lock Dragon? L O C H. Oh, okay. Like Lock Ness. I'm just discarding differently than I did. And then I got a double summon. Shared summons. Shared summons. Search your library for up to two creature cards with different names. Put them in, reveal them, put them into your hand shuffle. Yeah, I'll cast that too. Uh, That's unfortunate. <clears throat> I really wanted that card. Veto. Oh, what Vito does. <laughs> I do uh, nothing in here. Gains me life. So I go get two creature cards with different names for villain. So I will so go much better get. Than... Uh, Lelia. And I will go get... Yeah, the bathroom guys. No, you're, you're fine. Uh... Shoot, where's it at? Uh, do I want that one? No, I don't think that one's going to help us a whole lot right now. Yeah, see, I'm not even the threat anymore. <laughs> I may have big bitches, but I don't have a lot of them. <laughs> uh, big bitches, eh? <laughs> I guess I'll get this, uh, I'll get Marinette Master. To my hand. I should have got. Ah, oh, shoot, no. I'll get. I'll get Zorn. Now I'm gonna shuffle, shuffle this figure back into my shit. <laughs> but you got plenty of time, because. Of course, I. It was at like the top of the deck, and then I did like one shuffle and was like, eh. Yeah, I'll get Zorn. Gotta play smart. Gotta play smart. Yeah, Zorn's nice, bro. So this board state is crazy, huh? Yeah. So untap, upkeep. Uh, I'll be right back. I gotta get a drink. All right. I can use a uh, divining top on my upkeep, can I? Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That is what I'll do. I'll use a mind yeah, stone for it. Yeah, I just wanted to make her aware really? of what's at stake here. I mean, I don't see Virginia actually fall through with it. I'll leave this one on top. No proof of any neglect. Well, I'll talk to Grandma tomorrow morning. Is that just you have a casual conversation. Okay. Yeah, don't tell any life stories. Don't. Yeah, just hold on for Keep your mouth shut and say as little as possible. All right. So yeah, this I is a Vita. I was taking a chance, but I have a lot better. I can I mean, discard and yeah, draw a card, so we'll do that. That's true. I will discard. I was yakking her ear off about somebody's life story. Chandra. Yeah, well, card. maybe she don't feel like talking for a change. <laughs> All, All right. that talking makes Virginia stay here. Let's a do <laughs> this. Talk. I will move the combat. So I'll swing a veto. The one three. Uh, conspiracy theorist. What is this? This is a siren storm tamer. Yeah, I'll talk to Grandma tomorrow morning. Make sure that the kitchen is clean and things this like is. that. So I don't give her an excuse. We're just going to have to be on. I can't remember what that is. We'll throw it to the side. Uh, Gonti. I don't know what else I could do other than call them. Isn't that your hardened skills? Hey, yeah, yeah, this is this is all. Here. Oh, I'll find out. All right. no. Who are you swinging all that at, bud? 
That's you, uh, Red Ranger. You make some more comments like that. Okay, and repeat their powers and toughness? Uh, one, one two, three. three. Yeah. Uh, this is Siren. Four, five, six. Oh, this was, a uh, Lock Dragon. Right. And six, seven, eight, nine. This is in the air. So three in the air. So three in the air. Mm-hmm. And then this has death have... touch. That's fine. What was the death toucher at? Uh two. He's a two three. He's a two three. Okay. I will throw three tokens in front of the death toucher. Um you said you had a one four and a what? Yeah. Uh one four and this this is a one three and this is a one one. This is a three two in the air. Okay, I'll trade with the one one. I'll chump the one three and I'll take the three in the air. And then the death toucher will die. And then this one dies too. Vito, uh, Vito lives. On this though, a, right? Yeah, yeah. Vito? No, he chump blocked it. Yeah, so it lives. Yeah, chump oh, okay. blocked the one three. So Vito's lives. Yeah, traded He's with died. the one one and traded with the death toucher. And the conspiracy theorist got three. It's a two two. Oh, uh, he has a trigger. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Is uh, it an attack trigger? Yeah. So I'll discard a card. <laughs> I'll trade with that one too. Okay. So I'll go down to. Five one ones. Uh, actually, no, I won't pay the one. So, yeah. <coughs> so, I still have these two. Okay. Uh, I will tap for a red and Blasphemous Act. Yeah, I figure. That I was like, there's no effect. fucking way. That, <laughs> there's no fucking way that he's doing this okay. without blasting this thing. Everything else on my board. All right, wait, hold on, guys. Count your non-token creatures because I draw off each one with Harvester of Souls. Two, one, two. In response, I'm gonna sack a treasure, and I'm gonna sacrifice Haywire Might and destroy an artifact or enchantment. Um, there's nothing on the board, is there? I don't have any. I mean, I have a divining top, but I can just put it back. Yeah, I'll kill the whatever. Uh, is Mira same there? Mirazma, how do you say that? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. All right, yeah. so he's, he's board wiping, so it's the armory of Iwaris or the other card. I'll kill the other one, I guess, right? Yeah. The sure strike trident. I mean, fuck. <laughs> That's such a desperate target. Yeah, sure. Okay. And then count your non-token creatures. Or there's creatures. the crying blade. Yeah, no. Th- that and the Ivorus can stay, I guess. So, okay. So the trident. How many non-token all creatures? My creatures? Yeah. How many non-token creatures do you have that died? Uh, four. Four. And two for you, the, Ranger. The, and explosive any now? I had two. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I'll draw sixteen. And then um, everything. Whose turn? That it is it's my, my turn. turn. No, no, I'm not passing yet. Oh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> right. yeah. uh, I will tap five. So he's gonna one, two, three, four. Five for Reign of Riches. It'll make two treasure tokens. Two treasure tokens. One, two. Uh. So the first spell I cast each each turn that mana from a treasure was spent to cast has Cascade. So I need to. I'll tap three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I'll tap three for Layla. 
So I'll cascade for two. And she's going to trigger. I actually get to use hardened scales now. So let's see. <laughs> I hit a two. <laughs> Share the spoils. Chaos. So she gets two plus one plus ones. Uh, when it enters, each opponent is going to exile the top card off their deck. We can all cast that card. Share the spoils. So, oh, I love that shit. Yeah. I love share the Exotic spoils. Orchard. Doom Fortress, Exotic Orchard, right. and what, what else did we get? Yeah, I talked to Grandma tomorrow. Terramorphic Expense, so she don't freak out. So yeah. she'll be up four. Ranger, what'd you get? Anyway. Terramorphic Expense. And Mira's saying, what'd you get? I'm sorry, doing the thing. Uh, rabbit, rabbit battery, thing. nice. Okay, so we all can play <laughs> these cards. Uh, yeah. I'll play this exotic orchard for. So, I have what's to... the limit on when we can play this? Uh, on your turn. Yeah, right. you, you can. We all can play each other's cards, basically. Uh, yeah, which is cool great card. for spell table. It makes it really easy. Yeah, you're not uh, for that, but it's a great card. <laughs> Whenever you cast a card with it, you have to replace it with the top card. So I cast Exotic Orchard, Command Tower gets exiled. She will tick up again. So she is a 6, 7, 8. She is an 8, 8. Is that the Command Tower you stole from me? No, it's my Command Tower. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, look at there. I got down to 7. And I think that is all I got. Nice, now, on tap. nice turn, my friend. Upkeep. I did my best. <laughs> These both will double. Give me a second. You were probably grinning like a fool when I was dropping all those creatures. Look, no, because I didn't see it till, my hand till the I did the divine crop on my upkeep. <laughs> nice. All right, I will tap. One, two, three. For Tamara Sendacy. Creatures I control have haste. Whenever a creature with power four or greater enters the battlefield under my control, draw a card. <clears throat> What's Layla at right now? She is a 9 9. And. That's your only creature? Mm hmm. Okay. It's the only other creature on the battlefield. What do you got with all those counters on it? What are those? Uh, from oh. cards getting exiled. No, not you. Him. Uh, that guy with all the dice on his cards there. Oh, these are primordial hydras. They're plus one, plus one counters double at the beginning of my upkeep. Right. So why they're? Oh, I got you. So fuck. So yeah. they're. I got a thirty-two, thirty-two, and a and a thirty-six, thirty-six. Fuck so are you about to kill me? i have to kill some peoples, that's for damn sure. Um, let me see here. Well, I guess I can draw a card off of it. Is it worth it? It's a, uh, it's a force trigger. It's a lot of mana. Oh, I thought that Blasphemous Act saved us, but it kind of killed us. <laughs> At least yeah, me. Kind of did. Yeah. I mean, not necessarily. You can only kill two of us. <laughs> can only kill two of us. He says. I'll play a gruel rage beast. <laughs> I'll draw a card. <clears throat> um, from Tamara Sensei. Um, when he ETB, when he enters the battlefield, or another creature. Uh, enters the battlefield under my control. It fights target creature under my control. So it's not a May trigger, so I have to fight Lelia. He'll die. Um, I'll play the Terramorphic Expanse for turn. You got an exile card? That's fine. 
Zorin. Am I allowed to play that? Mm hmm. No. I'm not allowed to play that. That sucks. Yeah. Okay, on your next turn. Um, if I'm still up. <laughs> the final phases. Uh, go to combat. What you want to do? What you want to do? Huh, that's a tough one. Mm. Yeah. Toughy. They're tramplers, right? Yes, they are. Oof. What are their tower and toughness? <laughs> don't ask. Uh, 32, 32, and 36, 36. Yeah, don't ask. <laughs> Just take it. That's what my pastor always told me. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> okay. Um, so I will tell you this. Yeah, tell if you me kill that. me, you're going you're gonna to lose your card. Uh, he's see he's he's a master politicker. I really like this guy. I want to get y'all Discord. <laughs> this is a good game. And y'all should check I'm out my. Long, bro. I'm gonna post this game to YouTube. It's uh, my YouTube's called Aces Tavern. Y'all should check it out. Are you on the Spell Table Discord? Uh the one I was on the the one that you pay a dollar a month for. No. Oh, no, no, like the actual. I, know, I didn't know there was a Spell Table Discord. There yeah. is. When we're done with this, I'll get your details and I'll send you an yeah. invite. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think what the best course of action is here because I can't. You got to attack. Kill Ace in one shot. So I guess it's kind of obvious. Um, I kill Ace. No, he's not the problem right now. All of his shit's gone. All right. Um. Murasame, I'm going to swing a 32-32 at you. Oof. And I explosive at 36-36 at you. All right. Go for Fair broke. Are you going to die, Mur? Oh, shit. No. He's tapping blue. Oh, he's tapping stuff. I'm going to bounce the token back to your hand. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> I will die. Nice. Hope you didn't want to cast nothing from exile. <laughs> that was for the rabid batteries. Yep, it's they're gone, gone forever. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Send them to the shadow realm. <laughs> All right, well, I bought myself one more turn. I was really hoping you was going to play a fog. No, did he attack you with 32-32? That was amazing. That was a great play. Really hoping you're. I mean, it was the exact damage. So I was like, "Yep." <laughs> no question. Because bouncing the original was not the play. Because it's going to come out and it's going to be even fucking scarier. <laughs> right, right. That's why I'm glad you attacked me with the token. <laughs> All right. I I'm figured that might be the safer play because you are the other blue player at the table. Right. Uh, I'd like for you to counterspell it. <laughs> Right. The only other thing Blue's got going for it is boing, and boing, 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 boing. <laughs> I'm going to cycle a lonely uh, sandbar and get a dude. Draw a card. I knew I should have done that. I would have had a... If I would have Sensei's again, I would have got a Hurl Through Hell, and I would have got your Hydra. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to survive next round, though. Cause chaos. That's what I do. I don't know. It's pretty dependent on what I top deck at this point. How many cards do you have in hand for Andrew? None? Nope. I got nothing else. All right. You're good, bro. I got you on that Hydra. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. All right, I'll tap Great Hinge for two, Soul Ring for two, that's four. I need four more for Kodama. That'll basically tap me out. One, two, three, four. I'll play Kodama. 
I'll play a land for turn, Ancient Tomb. That triggers Kodama. I'll put in a... Wait, Kodama allows you to, like, keep playing land this Bro, isn't that crazy? I'll, I'll tr trigger a Yavi Mahalo. So everything's a forest? No, no, not that one. This is uh, taps to add a colorless, and I can pay one green and tap it to regenerate. Damn. This is a proxy, but I own the card. It's one of the most expensive cards I own. It's like almost a hundred dollars or something. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be playing with it either. <laughs> well, no, I have it. I just have it in another deck. I, I don't care. Like I play. I have all my most expensive cards in an unsleeved deck, and I riffle shuffle it, and I don't give a fuck. So, bro, you brave. Now I'll tap. I'll sack a treasure for one black, taking me to four. And I'll tap Command Beacon for Colorless. And I'm going to animate dead this Pythedrus Witherbloom. So he comes into play with a minus one, minus zero. He will die if you kill the animate dead or if you kill him. That'll oh, proc well. Kodama twice because the animate dead comes into the battlefield. That'll proc Kodama. Uh, I'll drop another land with that. Let's go Volrath Stronghold. And then I get a seven drop Kodama. I will, uh, Mira saying, what kind of creatures you got are we rolling over there? I got a 4-4 four, four flying and a 1-1 one, one flying. A 4-4 four, four flying and a 1-1 one, one flying. Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, this is the Locust God, and this is one of his insects. And then Forever Ranger, what are you, what are you rolling with? Creature-wise. You got a Biophagus, a 1-3, and a 36-36 Hydra. All right, so I'll sack three treasures, taking me to one, and now for three black mana, I'm going to reveal Tetsiamok Primal Death from my hand three times. One, two, three. I'm going to put three prey counters on each one of the creatures except the one one flying, so then when I play him, they will be destroyed. So then I'm going to play him now. I'll tap Ancient Tomb for two. Three, four, five. Ah, uh, fuck, I got it. Type Ancient Tomb for two. And I'll take two. Three. Four. Five. And I'll pay ten life to untap all my lands. And the Bethedris with a bloom. Oh, he gives them the counter because they're great hands. And I forgot the draw, but that's okay. So the gray hands will not untap, neither will the soul ring. And I still need a black mana. So I'll tap Takanuma for that. And I'll play the Tetsia Mox. So those three creatures will be destroyed. Yep, they go. Uh, Kodama trigger will be unnatural growth, doubles the power and toughness of my creatures at the beginning of each combat. On that stack, I'll just Terramorphic Expanse. Just to see. I mean, do your uh, creatures have haste? No. Mine do. <laughs> yeah, what enchantments you got over there, Forever Ranger? Anything? I just have Timur Ascendancy. Timur Ascendancy. All right, so. One green. Two green. And then six colorless. One, two for Ancient Tomb, taking two. Three. Three, four, five, six. And that'll be Terastrodon. He'll ETB, he'll blow up three non creature permanents. That should be everything on board, right? On whose board? Oh, all the boards, yeah. I've got two. Yeah, so that'll here. be two for you and then one for him. Okay. And you, cre you create two, three, three elephants. Oh, we get two of them? Yep, that'll draw a card, Great Henge. I thought it was one for each card that got blown up. Yeah, exactly. So he'll get two is what I meant. Oh, yeah. Okay. And he'll come in with a counter. I got no mana left. Oh, I get a Kadama trigger off that. That's what I'll do. Cost eight, so Akadama and Zendikar Resurgent. 
doubles my lands when I tap them for mana, and whenever I cast a creature spell, draw a card. Um, that How many a cards that I'm looking to get one of these days? And I'll pass turn. I'll discard down the hand size. I've got too many cards in my hand. At his end step, I get to return this to my hand. Fuck it. I'll do X equals 10, Hydroid Crisis. Oh, oh, nice. Love that card. I'll draw five, gain five. I'm going to discard eight cards if anybody's interested and won't let me know. Not that it's going to help me live. Yeah, it was a pretty big post board wipe turn. I guess I'll pass. Oops. Let me make this lobby private so these motherfuckers stop popping in here. It's annoying me. Okay. I'm gonna draw. Play my land for the turn. God, there's not much that I can do. So I'm just going to tap the F out. And I'm going to play a triplicate Titan. Oh, I love that card. Uh, it's a 9 9 Flying Trample Vigilance. Um, when it dies, I get three three threes, one that's flying, one that's vigilance, one that's trample. Yeah, my buddy um, gave me that card. <laughs> how big are your dudes over there, uh, Ranger? I got a 10 10 flying trample and a 3 3. 10 10 flying trample. Okay, I'm done. All right. The Plugs of Heroes for turn. Kodama proc, Burning Catacombs. I'll move the combat and I'll swing at Forever Ranger. So I've got a 2020 10 10 flyer, 12 12, uh, 14 14 death touch. Yep, good game, guys. <laughs> There's no point. I'm not surviving that. Alright, and then I will tap three and one green. I'll take one damage from the land of war waste and I'll count the ambush. So I finally saw some fucking target creature you control wave. fights target creature you don't control. Uh, I'll have the 12 12 death touch fight your 10 10, I guess. So you'll get your three my, and whatnot. My 9 9. My 9 9. Okay. Your 9 9, yeah. The nine nine. All right. Vigilance. And then I'm gonna fly. Uh, I have three floating mana because my land's all tapped for two from Zendikar Resurgent. Flying. What's up? Great hands, gaining two life. So I almost got that, man. Check this treasure. You did. You were close. And I'll cast Incarnation Technique. It always goes with it. Like I get really close, and then someone pulls the fucking removal that they need. Right. And... So I will choose not to demonstrate it. So I'll mill five cards and return a creature from my graveyard to the battlefield. One, two, three, four, five. I'll return Silverback Elder to the battlefield. I cast a creature spell, destroy target artifact enchantment, or I can ramp or gain four life. That'll proc Kadama trigger. I'll chop all Hammerets archive, doubles my life gain and my card draw. And I'll tap seven and play Ikra Shadiki. One, two, taking two from Ancient Tomb. Three, four, five, six, seven with Soul Ring here. 
I'll play Egris Yudiki, the Usurper. I should have played her before I attacked. I'd have gained a bunch of life. That's okay. Kodama trigger for that will be Druid of Purification. Starting with me, each player may choose an artifact or enchantment they don't control, uh, that I don't control. So basically, I'll just blow up your best artifact or enchantment. And then uh, I'll pass turn. All right, let's see if I have anything. Oh, my God. I'm definitely going to have to get my Kodama deck built now. Uh, don't forget about the lands thing. People forget about that. You drop in a land off everything you do. How many lands do you play? I play 34, but I got 20 pieces of card draw, so... I play, like, right. 23 ramp, 20, 20 card draw, 20 removal. Only thing that I have is my commander, and then <laughs> this is pathetic. Uh, oh, my answers. Spell satchel, I get to draw. <clears throat> I'll consider. I get to look at the top card and either draw it or key or uh, put it into my graveyard. It's not an answer, so I'll put the thing, and then I'll draw a card. And there's my answer, and I don't have enough mana to play it. So I will concede. Good game, my man. Good game, guys. That was fucking awesome. Can I get somebody's Discord? Can I get y'all's Discord? What's 